Kumar Swaminathan is asking, I live Ahimsa as a core value, but I have an unanswered question for myself. When Shiva beheaded Ganesha and Krishna beheaded Shishubala, how can I explain myself and others? These are not, these are also not violence. Listen. I'll explain now from Akashic Records as it has happened. Parashakti decided it is time to manifest Ganapati, means who will guide and lead all the Shiva Ganas. So she was making the body for that being from her own muscle memory and bio memory. <clears throat> While she was making, she decided Paramashiva has to come and add the bio energy. She leaves that body and goes for bathing to get ready to do puja and invoke Paramashiva to add bio energy into that being, but by the power Parashakti herself made, that being become alive and started moving around <laughs> before even Paramashiva added his bio energy because of the power of Parashakti. And, but the being has not yet become fully conscious. It started moving around, but not yet become fully awakened. So it did not know who is father, who is mother and all that. That is when, when Paramashiva came, it started, it tried to stop. Paramashiva tried to tell that being, Hey, I have come here to add my bio energy to you. And me and Paramash Parashakti has to sit now together and complete you. You are yet, you are potential, but you have to flower. But that being was not that conscious or ready to understand. And it was just trying to throw some simple tantrum as a cute baby then Paramashiva understood he has to now cut the head and add forcibly the bio memory of Parashakti and bio energy of him into the being to make that experiment success so it is a simple experimental success strategy to make the experiment success it is a simple strategy he has to do. I should say, it is a most non-violent decision Paramashiva made. He did not kill Ganapati. He just removed some, spa, some parts, added his own bio energy and bio memory of Parashakti and put the whole thing into it and put beautiful elephant head and made Ganapati and made him as the head of all the Shiva Ganas. So it's absolutely non-violence. It is just simple surgery. Surgery can never be a violence. It's like how you remove the tumor. The tumor removing surgery, it was just conscious surgery done by Paramashiva. He never killed Ganapati. He only just did surgery, removing some parts not required and added some parts required. I should say that uh, first Humor removing and transplantation surgery done by Paramashiva is Mahaganapati successfully.